next demonstration, we're going to look at a new feature called Workspaces. Workspaces is a great place for you to customize your view of life and make your job easier throughout the day, week or month. This is the default workspace and to access any other workspace assigned to your role or to your operator, you can simply click on the cog, which will then pull out into a workspaces area or context menu and you will see all the different workspaces available to you. Another workspace that I created was a very simple daily and weekly applications workspace where I can start to see this is all of my job applications. That's what the whip at a glance, the labor cost. I even have a workspace or a particular notepad where I can keep track of all the things I've done during the day. We have a complete rich text editor where I can just make notes for myself. And if I want to return back to my normal or default, my favorite workspace, simply click on this favorites button and I'm back to normal. So let's have a look at how customizable this is and how we can put this in the user's hands so they can develop their own workspaces. So to develop your own workspace, we'll click on the customize button, workspace, and we'll simply click on new workspace. A dialog pops up for you to provide a name for the workspace. And this we're going to call daily programs and insights. And once we've got that, we can simply just click on the OK button. When you click on the OK button, the system in the background will load up what we call a visual designer. The visual designer is an area that allows you to design a workspace or an application without writing a single line of code. So to do this, there's various different layouts where you can have a large layout, a two equal column layout, a big and a small or a small and a big or three column layouts. For this demonstration, we'll simply just add a two column layout section, click the close button. We're going to simply drop in some tiles and maybe we'll drop in a notepad as well. So to drop in a notepad on the right hand side, I'm simply going to click on add a section. I'll click on the notepad. We'll add a Cispro notepad and simply add the section. To add some tiles or program tiles and insights, We'll add a tile layout section. We'll give it a name called daily programs or daily applications. And we can simply click on the add section. Now that we've added the section, we can go ahead and add some tiles. So on my daily programs, I typically do a customer query. So let's just look for the customer query application. We can change the background of the tile to be blue and the text to be white and we can simply add that tile. I also tend to add a lot of orders so I'm going to look for the program called sales order entry and because this one I use all the time I can maybe just make that particular tile a green tile with white writing and make that large. And lastly maybe I'd like to look at some financial information and actually add on a tile that shows or a business insight that shows the average days to pay and I can make that red with the white background color and simply add that tile. For this demonstration I think that's enough. I can simply click on the save button and voila we've now generated our own workspace. I can click on the favorites button which takes me to my favorites. I can go to workspaces and I can simply select the workspace that I just designed and when I click on that one it shows me the previous daily programs or the daily and weekly ones and this one shows me the one that I just created and from there I can simply click on the tile which will load that particular uh, application go home and if I decide in future that this should be my favorite I simply click on the customize button and I say set this as my favorite and the next time I log into Cispro Avanti, this particular workspaces will be loaded as my favorite.